Filmmaker Sanjay Gupta has made quite a few films and sometimes with a great lineup of actors. For example, Kante. It had all the macho men of the industry, but soon things started fading out. From Zinda to Shoot Order Vadala, and now another gem, Jasba. We know talent doesn't last forever. In fact, Ram Gopal Verma is a great example of that. It's commendable that he keeps trying, but the fact is that he keeps failing. Looks like now it's Gupta's turn. So why are films getting from bad to worse? Point number one. Gupta's focus is always on the look of the film and very less focuses obviously on the story, screenplay and things like that. Every frame should look gorgeous. It should look very Hollywood, very stylish. And if you want the look right, go and learn all that from Karan Johar. In Jazba, the costume that Irfan Khan wears throughout the film looks like it's Sunil Shetty's costume from Kante. And he's a cop, by the way. Number two, bad casting. How many filmmakers in Bollywood would cast John in a serious role? He's already done that twice. And now Aishwarya as a serious lawyer? Sorry, but it doesn't work. But Tabu would have been great. Number three, poor screenplay, writing and dialogues. For example, in Jazba, Aishwarya's daughter is kidnapped and she needs medicines. She gets a phone call. Us jage pe jao aur kutte ke pouch mein dawa chhod do. Kutte ke pouch mein? Really? Number four, Sanjay Gupta doesn't get the best out of his actors. I understand you can't get the best of John, but come on, you had Irfan Khan this time who gave a phenomenal performance just two weeks ago in Talwar. To make Irfan act bad, that requires some talent. Point number five. From all his films, one thing is clear. He's influenced by Korean action films. Come on, dude, you love that. Please watch it. Don't show all that to us. Because if Korean films had a market, they would be releasing in the theatres. They are not. Clearly, you've got the math wrong. So if Sanjay Gupta is the captain of your ship, you will drown.